Senator Dow, Representative Tipping, members of the Committee on Taxation. I'm Alice Bolsinger from Prescott, and I thank you for this opportunity to testify. I'm very grateful um, also for the education I'm getting he here about this issue. Um, I have to admit that uh, I've done a lot of research in, uh, last night and this morning <laughs> trying to prepare for this, and I'm not sure I still understand everything quite well, but in any case, I have a lot of respect for the workers uh, at Bath Ironworks, for their skills, their work ethic, and their pride in their work. Nevertheless, I speak in opposition to 17, LD 1780. The owner of Bath Ironworks, General Dynamics, is the fifth largest defense contractor in the world. And within the top 100 corporations of Fortune, Forbes Fortune 500, they are already profiting from recent corporate tax cuts. They make their profits from making defense products taxpayers pay for. A large profit margin is built into their defense contracts. And now they're asking for an additional $60 million in main taxpayer subsidies for Bath Ironworks. This company, General Dynamics, is among the largest corporation in the mil military industrial complex that President Eisenhower warned us about. I'm nearly 80 years old, and I have watched the bitter results of Eisenhower's warning come to pass. The more profits this complex makes, the more unstable the world becomes, and the more the uh, the um, um, military-industrial complex uses fear-mongering about national security and job insecurity to persuade voters and our leaders, we have no choice but to help them make more profits. General Dynamics does not need this subsidy. Maine needs $60 million to help improve our education, to help provide health care for all, to help fight the opioid epidemic, to help fix up our crumbling in infrastructure that you heard about earlier today, to help clean up our environment and avert a climate change disaster. I would gladly pay my tax dollars for these needs. This bill serves greed, not need. Please vote ought not to pass on this bill. Thank you.